In this video, I'll show you how to start a podcast completely from your phone so that you can make the production process much more efficient. We're going to start just before the recording step in the creation of your podcast. So if you need help with the planning steps, like how to find your niche or how to find your podcast structure or format, then definitely check out our how to start a podcast video. And these are all things that can be done on your phone using your notes app to jot down ideas and research. Starting a podcast on your phone is so simple with all of the apps that are out there. Now, if you don't mind using your phone and your computer in the production process, Riverside has a great app where you can record your episode with video just from your phone. And then you head over to the web to download separate tracks for audio and video for everybody involved in the session so that you can edit it and get it ready to upload to podcast streaming platforms. However, because this video is about doing the entire podcast production process from your phone, the app that we're going to focus on today is Anchor. It's free to download and it's available as an app on both iPhone and Android, and it's also available on the web. With Anchor, you can record a podcast episode with one or more people. You can add in music and sound effects to your recording, and you can also upload your episode to various podcast streaming platforms all directly from the Anchor app. Now before we get to the walkthrough of the Anchor app, let's talk about some benefits to starting a podcast on your phone. This makes the process much easier and more efficient because it's more straightforward. Your smartphone actually makes for a great way to do remote in-person recordings because it's on you at all times so you can record whenever you want. You have the option to use your phone's mic or you can invest in a mobile specific mic for higher audio quality. Your phone has the ability to get free apps that help with all different parts of the podcast production process. You can plan, record, record, edit, upload, design, and publish all directly from your phone. Now, although there are a lot of pros for starting a podcast on your phone, there are also a couple cons that we're going to talk about. So although you can make this a high quality recording, you're not going to get that extreme high quality that you would get in a studio setting with an expensive setup. You have to be okay with not making very many edits because it's really hard to edit out small parts of your podcast recording on your phone because it's so small. So in order to do this, you would have to transfer the files over to a computer in order to use an external editing software. And the last point is that you'll have to have your notes and your script on either your laptop or print it out because your phone will be in use. Consider investing in a mobile mic for better audio quality. If you wanted to do this, the one that we recommend is the Shure MV88. This will plug directly into your iPhone or you can get the USB-C version for your Android. If you wanted something a little bit more budget friendly or just wanted to test out the idea before investing, wired Apple headphones work well for first time podcasters. You wanna have a stand for your phone to make sure that your phone stays in one place. If you're a hand talker like me, then your phone will be going away from your face and closer to your face and then the audio won't be consistent. You wanna to try to eliminate any background noise by recording in a small, quiet room. If you're going to use your phone's mic, then you might want to invest in a pop filter that clamps onto something like a desk so that you can hold that in between your phone's microphone and your mouth to avoid any popping sounds. When you are recording, you wanna keep your face about eight inches away from your phone's microphone. Before we get into Anchor, there are a few things that you'll have to prepare. You want to name your podcast. So try to think of something that will go along with the theme of what your episodes will be about. You want to make sure that it's catchy and something easy to remember for your listeners because this sets the tone of the brand that you are creating. If you need help with this, you can use Riverside's podcast name generator. Just insert a few words describing your podcast and then click generate and now you'll have a bunch of name ideas for your podcast. Write up a description. This should be relatively short and clear so that anyone browsing can easily understand what your podcast is about. This may grow and develop as you release more episodes, so don't dwell on it too much because it can always be changed later. You'll need a cover image. Now, not all of us are graphic designers, so a great app that you can use and download onto your phone is called Canva. When you open it up, click the plus sign and then select Instagram post. This is just a square canvas. I use it a lot when I have to design anything that's supposed to be square. Now you'll see some templates pop up. What you wanna do is search podcast cover. And now you have a whole bunch of podcast covers to choose from. So use one of those templates and edit it to fit your brand and then you can save it to your phone. All right, let's show you how to set up your podcast. On whatever phone you have, head to the App Store and download Anchor. Sign in with your Apple ID or your email address. You want to select, I want to make a new podcast. 
Now at the bottom, head to your podcast. Click the three dots at the top and go to podcast settings. You want to set up your podcast now. You want to insert your podcast name and you can change your URL based on what your name is. Now you want to insert your podcast description that you've already come up with. Now you want to upload the image that you just created or you can actually have Anchor design one for you by pressing choose one for me. You'll have to pick your category and your language so people know where to find you. And then you can review the details of your podcast and click save. Now let's record your first episode. You'll see at the bottom that you have a selection of tools for this. So you can have people send in voice messages and then put them into the recording of your show. This is great for Q and A's. You also have music here so you can add in music from Spotify to your show. Some ideas for this are to share your knowledge about certain artists. You can create a radio show. You can narrate playlists. By adding music into your show, it opens up the realm of possibilities of what you can create. What's cool about this is whatever song you choose, Spotify will actually pay the artist the same way they would pay them if they were getting streams. So there are no copyright issues. Here you have your library, so if you're importing any external sound, that's where this will show up. And then you have a selection of interludes to use during the recording and sound effects as well. Under record, you see that you can invite people to join in with their phone into the podcast recording. So this is great if you have guests or co-hosts because you don't have to figure out how to use two microphones in one phone. They can just join from their phone and use their phone's mic. So when you're ready, hit record and record your episode. You can also add in flags throughout your recording to remind you of parts that you want to edit later. When you're done recording, you can trim the audio to your start and your end point of when you started talking. From there, you can also add in background music and Anchor has a variety of royalty-free background music to choose from. The episode will process and then you can add in an episode name. You can then publish it whenever you're ready and it will go live across various podcast streaming apps like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. I hope this video helped you get started on creating a podcast from your phone. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks. And like I said earlier, if you're somebody who doesn't mind involving your computer in the production process, then you're definitely going to want to check out the Riverside app because it can record high quality video using your phone's camera while you're recording your podcast episode. So this is going to give you more content that you can cut up into shorter clips and use on your social media platforms to promote your show. So definitely check out our app tutorials for that, we have them for both Android and iPhone, and you can find them here in this playlist.